I was looking around because um, usually I have a pair of sunglasses here near my computer, but I think they're actually downstairs right now. Broken pair. Yeah, no sunglasses. I was looking around. Pyrrhic? That was a heroic. Now we did lose a lot. We lost an awful lot. 356 kills for that one unit Legio. 279, 242. I mean, that is worth chasing down. We did a ton of damage. I'm not sure how many of those units are actually dead. Oh, and this was their king. 2,300 kills. Okay, we actually killed quite a few. Including the pikemen and the slingers. Excellent. We lost only one of our own. Uh, here, I think I'm going to take the replenishment. Because they are possibly just going to come back again next turn. Although we actually have an army fairly nearby. Oh man, that was a hell of a fight. <laughs> Crazy. Let's do a quick save here. Don't want to have to do that again. This is only 31 turns. No, 33 turns in. Flipping hell. I did notice when I was loading this up that we're actually behind where Bussy and I are, even though Bussy and I have done, like, what, three streams, four streams, and this is probably the seventh or eighth. <laughs> the turns here take so much longer. Anicus Melonius has leveled up. Wow, he is a high level. Um... Let's do that. Let's give him, like, all of the abilities and we can start pimping him out later. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Poppet. Yeah, East Rome is our friend. We're allied. And they are the source of a lot of my trade income. Moving out. Can't quite reach you. Oh, you can have the uh, personal influence. You are my heir, after all. Ready for battle. Golic rebels. I care about them a lot less. So we'll back off. I have little gain in wasting the day on you. That's right. Bugger off from my lands. Killed their king and then they wanted to peace out. <laughs> Damn straight. Uh, who else? I think it's time for me to go through the list. And see who I can Gods peace. Of the afterlife. Welcome. Speak. Gods of the afterlife. Speak quickly and well. Um, well, now that you've taken Demidi, in order to preserve the rest of Africa, I might try and the piece you out. Yeah, he wouldn't take it. See, you would previously. That's annoying. Guards of the afterlife, spare my. Rejected. Interesting. Come on, Hans. What you say had better please. Oh. I well, wonder. Why do you I trouble my digestion you? today? I was wondering if it was possible to become a tributary or something to get them to bugger off, but I don't think so. Speak quickly and well. Come, come, let me hit. Well, we do have two peace deals already, which is nice. The door is you have like two men, one of which is your king. Literally you two men. My attention. Africa. Speak your terms. Speak your terms. Wow, you're a little bit spread out, aren't you? 
Hispania, no, that I am taking back. I'm not going to try and piece you out. All right, so that's all of them done. Quadians, do you want to trade? I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because your people are no. Be welcome. I listen and speak for. Come on, we both make money out of this. Just, just come, trade. Come, let me hear your talk. I warn you, you guys have really I have grown. no stomach for the meek or nice. Uh. Alright, what about attitude? Can I get any non-aggression? Like the Alamans really like us, actually. Uh Be welcome. I think these guys are Greetings, friend. Vassals, they are. Britain, we have a non-aggression. Come on, Markerman. friend. I welcome you, worthy. Before you say anything, know that I. Franks, we have a non-aggression. Well, met, friend. Sit and let you. I mean, we're securing a couple of our borders, but friend. nowhere near enough. We'll go down to the minus 50, which is... There. Speak quickly and well. Well, Please. met friend. No. I'm sure you have many... Alright. We tried. We tried. Can probably bribe the Saxons. Eh, yeah, maybe. Ready for orders. Alright, Marshal Slav, you are running out of time, but I don't exactly have anyone around that can come and reinforce you. Oh, public order is still going down. <laughs> Commander. And I still need to rebuild this place. Yeah, start doing it. Though the Huns will probably just walk in and just go, yeah, no, crush. And I need to spend... On public order. As I promised to do every turn, at least one public order thing. Okay, so a lot of the sanitation in Liguria is sorted. And Liguria is now actually making a lot of public order. Excellent. So you might actually stabilize. Narbonesis as well. Excellent. Okay, good. And you could do with some sanitation. Well, let's see if there's anywhere else that I can build another auditorium before we do that. Like Betica. Which would go a long way towards stabilizing you. Now, unfortunately, the sanitation does cost 2,000. I was kind of hoping it would only cost 1,000. But that is our oh, fields. Uh, speaking of fields, are there any others that I could be improving? Uh, you are slightly hungry. And that is providing negative public order. I could put a field here. I mean, actually, the thing I really need to do is sanitation in Rakara. Well, you have a fair amount of growth. I mean, that would be nine. We have seven. It's fine. Build me a field. Right, that's the money gone. Battle. Silver is replenishing, and I don't think I want to move you away. Although, I'm still at war with you, and I'd quite like to take Syracuse back. And there's also a very large rebel army there in Tarentum. Yeah, I think I need you to force march south to go and deal with that. And then Neon, which is my biggest army by a long way. 
Um. Could actually go and kill the Separatists once and for all. Hmm. Because you can actually reach. And they've run away once already. Do it. This is why I like Rome. You can move your armies so sodding far. Auto resolve. Defensive. Don't lose any units. Civil War is over. We finally frickin' did it! No more Civil War icon. Public order should be improving in a number of places. I'm seeing a couple of little green arrows. That's good. That's good. Liguria is stable. Plus four in Arbanesis. Carthaginesis is still minus 12. Uh, but you're building an auditorium, so that will improve. Galicia is improving, but that's only because you've got rebels and a lot of them. Uh, speaking of rebels, I need to go and murder you. Commander. And then we can send you over towards Prakara. Ah, see, you've managed to replenish already. I mean, I do have a lot of Western Auxilia here. But it is this city which, in this instance, is in my favor. Let's do it. Let's do it! Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, our notifications are coming through. Uh, Headache Gaming, thank you very much for the follow, and Color, welcome to the channel to you both. We have notifications are coming through, I'm just not noticing them. Hmm. Foggy, Foggy is good, they have archers. Let's pull you back. One tower. Oh, interesting. So although they've replenished most of their units, they have not rebuilt the uh, defences. Well, okay then. I will attack from this direction. Ooh. I have some Germanic warband. They're not as good as Gothic warband, but they're still really good. Right, let's just... Big line. Big, 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 big line. And then we'll warband back here in any direction. Matiari here. We we'll use my Germanic warband as a counter cavalry. And then the boss man. General! Go. Let's see how they do this. Now, this is also one of the really big avenues, so you can usually get around them. We will be worthy of his praise instead by crushing those who defend this place utterly. Let us show the world that we are true soldiers. Stand ready. By your command. Post material. Thank you very much we for the follow. Welcome the to the enemy. channel. Alright, so they have indeed put most of their archers over there. That's interesting. Our cavalry over here. So they have Mercenary Germanic Warband and Ecotes Promoti. Okay. Jumping over a wall which no longer exists. 
Like half the unit were like, okay, we'll, we'll step over this carefully, and the rest of them were just like, no, we'll just knock it down. Spread out! I kind of want you to hide in some of those woods, but I'm not sure that's going to be feasible, especially as they're in range. So I'm maneuvering my cavalry to get them in the woods over here so the enemy forgets where they are. Then I'm hoping that I can just sweep in from behind and take out any of their archers from here. It does look like they're switching these guys around. They've kind of seen that I've just parked myself on their periphery. These archers could do a bit of damage, but not a huge amount. Right, let's pause this for a second while I draw up some battle plans. That's what I meant. What I meant. You guys can go there. You four. Come in there. You two. Hold that side. And then you come in here. And you come in here. Mutiari. Um Let's see if I can get some flank shots. Don't shoot unless I tell you. Go. General! Our hidden units have been revealed. Alright, so their archers are pinging away at us, but they shouldn't be able to do very much damage because we have really big shields. Also, you're about to get caught out in a whole world of pain here. to engage with those guys. The enemy have rallied their units. General! On me! Okay, they committed them. Good. Time to do some damage. There's one over here as well. So the Warband should be able to beat the Palatina Guard. I mean, they are armor-piercing. Let's take them out. Where indeed can let me surround. And this is the danger of this map. Is these surrounds are possible. And I'm aware that my general is under fire, but... I'll deal with it. It's fine. Actually, let's do something like... Hmm... Alright, 
actually doing a fair amount of damage. Let's pull you back. Whoa, what the? Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. So apparently, Germanic mounted brigands are really good anti cavalry. Who knew? How are we doing? Yeah, they've only got 600 men left. This around was punishing. The battle turns in our favor. One more time. God save us. Quickly. There you go. So they're actually almost out of ammo. This is a siege attack, so I don't need to kill everything. I'm actually kind of disappointed with how the mercenary Germanic warband have done against the Palatina. I expected more. What are your orders? Those brigands are out of ammo almost. They killed 140. How? Move out. Missile damage 90. How many shots do you get? Dunno. But we have you tied up now, so good. Okay, now they're starting to die. I miss the guy from Thrones of Britannia screaming, They shot me! Yeah, I kind of missed that too, to be fair. They completely wiped out my cavalry. What the hell? And like that. Really quickly. Hmm. Give me back my city! Yeah, dead, dead. Bugger. We hunger for battle. Alright. City retaken. Then I just need to send you over here. Although Bracara has pretty good garrison, so I'm not hugely concerned. I just wanted to compare the difference between Palatina Guard and Legio. Melee attack 14 to their 21, so Legio hit harder. Oh, hit more often. Palatina Guards have more melee damage. Slightly more charge. Lots more melee defense. Same armor. These guys have a tiny bit more health. Quite a lot more morale. Morale is really where the difference is. But Palatina Guard, on paper, not that strong. For a general unit especially. They're supposed to be the elites. Carthago. Six turns until you run out of supply. You will be fine. Ready for In fact... I could even send this legion down to deal with Africa. Africa is such a drain on resources though. I've sent like three or four legions down there by now. I still need to build the legion that's down that's there. Command. For battle. 
You still have another two turns to live. Okay. Still more than a little bit concerned about all the Huns here. Although they have taken some damage. Sure, some of it was done by me, but not all of it. And they are still rather close to my capital. Which I'm not enjoying. Oh, we've already saved there. Um, okay, so I think that this is where I'm going to end this stream, actually. is 15 minutes until I normally end. And I don't want to risk ending turn, because that usually takes a while. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when we are live again, or when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and lets me do more of this kind of t content. If you want to support the channel other ways, check out my Patreon, which you can find here at this link. That's patreon.com slash mordredviking. I have a YouTube channel. If you want to see how we've come to this terrible situation, then check that out. You can find that at youtube.com slash mordredviking. Although bear in mind, that is going to be fairly far behind where we are right now um, because I've been playing this quite a bit. I also have a Discord which is where I hang out it's where the community hangs out, they're a cool bunch uh, we talk a lot about games, a lot about other stuff and it'll be great to see some new faces so come along, join us, say hello uh, we won't bite much um, and yeah, it'll be nice to see some more my next stream will be on Friday Thursdays are my days off, yay uh, so I will be back at 5 p.m., I'm going to do E4 Mio and Taxes. Um, it's had some pretty substantial changes since the last time I tried it, and it was completely whew, straight over my head. Um, so if you want to see Mio and Taxes, see how it works, join me on Friday. We will go through it together. I have not had any time to, like, check it. And if you are a veteran of Mio and Taxes, more importantly, come along and join us so you can tell me how on earth to play this game. Because it looks amazing. The development team behind it are amazing. I've met them several times and I absolutely adore them. They're fantastic people. And I really want to get into this mod, but it is daunting at first. At least, I assume, until you kind of get the mechanics and get how it works. Um, just just having that kind of support would be quite nice. And then after that, at 10pm, British Summer Time, we will be continuing this campaign. That's Total War Attila, Western Roman Empire, because I'm rather enjoying it, so I'm investing a rather ama large amount of time on it. Uh, but I think it's worth it. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye.